Hey guys, it's me, Ronald Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. First off, bullet points. I'm looking at three to four different storm systems between now and 215. So one happening now into 27. Next storm, late 27, 28, somewhere right in there. Another storm that kind of hits the Pacific Northwest, dives south and dies out. And then potentially a fourth storm, 214, 215. So um, it, it's, it's remaining active through 215. And I, really the trajectory with the bulk of moisture hits the Pacific Northwest in BC. That's where I think we're going to see the bullseye. Some of the biggest totals over the next seven, eight, nine days. In the Northeast, I don't have any one big storm system, but two or three different clippers. So we'll look at all that in my forecast coming up. First off, visible satellite. It's a beautiful view. Storm sliding down through the interior. Dropped 10 inches in Jackson overnight. Another big low right here, another one behind that, and potentially one more for 214, 215 back there. But So all following this jet stream, that again, the trajectory brings most of the moisture into the Pacific Northwest and BC for some big totals. Then the lows corral the moisture and carry it down through the inner mountains. I wrote about it this morning on my blog, chrystomer.com. Snow forecast through Valentine's Day. Looked at the setup and the jet pattern. Let me take the jet full. Let's talk about this. So this is 215. So uh, somewhere between 214 and 215, big trough with an area of low pressure comes down from the Pacific Northwest, slides through the Intermountain West, colder air, and some decent totals. So we'll see how the timing plays out. But in the last couple of days, it's been anywhere from 213 to 215. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that. But again, that's the jet pattern. Let me show you what the timing looks like. You'll be able to see all these lows. So there's our current storm. Fades out from the Rockies. Here comes the next one. 2.7 into 2.8. Sliding down. You can see it sliding through Colorado and Wyoming. Another storm hits the Pacific Northwest. 2.9, 2.10. Dives south into 2.11 through California. That one will actually go all the way south and die out. The larger storm system is still, is still sitting behind that poised for 2.14 and 2.15. Let me play that one more time. Morning of 2.7, there's 2.8, northern track, sliding down through Colorado. There's uh, 2.10 in the morning, next storm, driving dives south into California, becomes a southern track storm and dies out. Again, the larger low is behind that for 2.13, 2.14, and 2.15. Actually timed out Baker again. Got heavy snow coming today, tonight, tomorrow, and then a dry break, followed by another foot on 2.10 and on 2.11 followed by another 1 to 2 feet, 212, 213, and 214. So we still have a lot of snow yet to go in the Pacific Northwest because that's really the, the carousel where everything's coming through and rotating down and around. Let me show you the, uh, the totals. Here's what I'm thinking. So today through 28, again, you can see the Northwest orientation, everything coming from the Pacific Northwest, running down through Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Northern Utah, and Colorado, Northern New Mexico. So again, we've got another one to two feet coming to Baker, Stevens, and Whistler. Some blow off into Revelstoke and Schweitzer and Red Mountain. Um, let me show you phase two. So this is 2.9 through 2.15. So this is going to account for another um, two to three storm systems. So another two to three feet in the Pacific Northwest and BC. Hefty. Another foot there in that time period over the Wasatch. Um, in Colorado, 5 to 15. So again, you're looking at two or three storm systems captured in these numbers right here through 215. So a nice period. Um, California gets a little bit as well. Uh, a few specialty maps here. Colorado, 2 6 um, through 215. About a foot along I 70, about a foot in the northern mountains. But again, you're looking at nine days total right there. Pacific Northwest BC. Um, again, grand totals between 2.6 and 2.15 of 3, 4 feet, maybe more over Rainier. So some, that's, I mean, again, that area is the bullseye through 2.15. Everything has to come through there. All roads lead through Rome. And in the uh, northeast through 2.15, no one big storm system, but two or three different clippers will spread snow on the order of um, generally 6 to 12 inches for most places. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this, uh, this weather update today. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care and enjoy the new snow.